Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your ninth Bootstrap 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can clear grid elements. <laughs> Alright then, so I've got a did simple HTML file open right here and uh, basically we've just got this container which is fluid and then we've got one row, that's all there is, just one row here and then within that row we've got six div elements and each one of those div elements has a class of call xs Six. So basically I'm saying starting from the very small, the extra small screen, give each one of these elements six columns in width, which is half of the grid, and uh, that's going to extend up all the way to large screen. So it's always going to be six columns in width, all right? So let's take a look at this in a browser. And uh, here you go. So we've got six columns in width, six columns in width, but then something weird is happening right here. So instead of going over to the left side again, it's kind of hanging around on the right where I don't want it to be. And that is because of this height difference right here. You see, this first uh, element has a sli slightly larger height than this second one, all right? So essentially, all of these are being floated left, all of these elements. And when it gets to this third one right here, it's being floated left. And uh, the furthest left it can go is here because of this little crappy bit jutting out. If I zoom in a little bit, you're going to be able to see that better. You can see here, we've got a little bit that comes down. All right. So what we essentially need to do is get this third element to say, hey, look, I want to clear the floats from here and start again. All right. And it's going to be the same with this element down here. You can see it does exactly the same thing again. All right. So basically every odd element, so third, fifth, etc., we're going to have to clear the floats. Now um, we can use the bootstrap, let me just go to normal view here. We can use the bootstrap inbuilt classes to do this, which is a clear fix class. So we'll just do that first of all. So basically um, we wanna come down here and we wanna pop a clear fix right here because this is the third element. So we'll do div class and the class that bootstrap give us, uh, gives us is just clear fix all lowercase like that okay so it's just an empty div so if I save that now and view this in a browser again you can see now that this has gone way over to the right but we're getting the same thing happening right here again we've got that difference in height between the third and fourth elements so when this is being floated left the fifth one the furthest left it can go is right here until it hits that okay so we need to clear the flow again so let's go back to the code and just copy this and put it under the fourth one just before the fifth element and save again so let's view again this time it goes to normal now this is fine we can use um bootstraps clear fix class whenever we want to however if you've got a big grid and you've got a few different heights in each different column then it's going to be a bit laborious you're going to have to go over and repeat yourself over and over now i don't like doing that it's also injecting kind of html which isn't really semantic into your uh, document so i'm not a massive fan of doing that yeah occasionally if you need to as a last resort i would use something like this which is pretty cool um but i mean i prefer to do things another way so what i'm going to show you now is something that's not bootstraps kind of inbuilt method of doing something but just something i'd like to do i'd use css so i'm going to come right up here to the style tag that i've got and all i'm going to do is grab each one of these thumbs like that okay so i'll just say thumb and uh, what we want is a nth child. So I've not kind of uh, gone into nth child or anything like that in this series. I have got a CSS playlist. I'll leave the link to that down below. In particular, there's a nth child video in there. So you can check that out. And uh, what it is, is just basically a pseudo class. So we can select um, a specific child of uh, its parent element. So basically, if I say I want the second Div right here then I can just say nth child 2 because that is the second child yeah 1 2 of this parent but I don't just want the second one I want the third one I also want the fifth one essentially I want every odd one yeah so I can do nth child odd just like that and it's going to grab every odd child in that kind of list of elements and apply these rules to them so the rule we want is just to clear both just like that okay so now instead of doing all those clear fixes down here in the code, I've just got one CSS rule which is gonna do it all for me. So if I open this up in a browser, I can refresh. You can see right here, it's absolutely fine now. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, perfect. So that is the Bootstrap Clear Fix class. Yep, use it if you want to. I'm not a massive fan of injecting code when it's not necessary into the HTML, but it's there if we need it. Any questions, feel free to drop those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we're going to take a look at some of the inbuilt uh, textiles that Bootstrap comes with. I'll see you guys then.